so there is something going on up uh, UAE. I don't know if other Gulf countries peace going on, but uh, the government is trying to clear to do away with bed spaces. So when you want to bed spaces, they can relate. When you are in, 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 what does this sticker mean? This judiciary, is, I don't know something, you know. So what you want to want to shoot bed spaces, you want to evicted. They know what is this. So this is a crisis going on, like. Naini plan ya watomba elewi why is the government doing this crackdown kwa bed spaces need the government in a try nowadays companies imekuwa so so smart companies zimekuwa so smart like wanakulipa 2000 unaishi nje transport ni yako so wanakufinyilia wewe so government imeanza ku realize these things kwa companies wanalipa wafanyikazi wao pesa kidogo wanaishi nje ndio wamejazana kwa metro nowadays watu mtambua na ishi dubai au mtambua anatumia metro anaweza kuambia venye metro squeeze ni hell yani metro from metro ya kwanza imejazana umesimama mmefinyana design nyingine unashindwa 2 3 years ago metro haikuwa hivi why because of the inflation yani huku size properties zimeenda juu ziko expensive so companies zinaogopa kwenda hiyo hata na expense ya ku ya ku ya ku rent hao hata kama ni two bedroom three bedroom yake wananiwa huko so kitu ambacho wanafanya wanakulipa pesa kidogo wapata kama waiter waiter mshahara wa waiter kama umepata accommodation na kuanga around 1500 but sasa since wamekuja na ujanja kukuongeza 500 kisha wanakuambia ende uishi nje pata pata ile freedom unatakanga hapo ndo sasa wana save kwa sababu wewe 500 yako niambia uta rent transport hata kama utakuwa sometimes unakula hicho kula hotel cha kula hotel inafikanga pahali inakubo inakubo unataka tu upike cha kula mbao umezoea mzuri tam kwa hao so ha, this is where now they take the advantage so kama wewe uko kwa hao ama uko ku place ambao uko unapatwa salary yako ya tao mbili na uko under, under secure shed like, like accommodation furaia so this is why the government is pushing them so much is pushing wana destroy hizi mabed spaces kwa sababu companies ama watu individual wanachukua hizi mabed spaces kwa sababu mtu kama anapata 1500 tao mbili huyu mtu utamwambia achukue private apartment hata achukue studio achukue achukue kitu kama one bedroom na beshte yake ah ah mabeshte kutoka then unapata uko kwa mess peke yako kwa sababu ndio pia uchukue hizi hao criteria yao iko juu kwa sababu lazima uko na checkbook lazima kuna range ya salary yako lazima ikue ni stress ni stress alafu sasa kwa mbota kwa na bounce check sasa utasikia stress vizuri so watu wana opt for easy way wacha tu nichukue bed space kila kitu sina bill sina nini kwa sababu pia ukichukua studio uko na dewa dewa ni kama Kenya power ya huko uko na uko na emicool emicool ndio ac kuna watu wanalipa pia gas kuna ma security money kuna ma agent fee. like ni expenses expenses huko watu ambao wanaishi huko especially dubai it's very expensive for you to be able kuishi kwa studio ama home tunaita bed sitter lazima upart way with something like size the cheapest studio in a, in a see place kupoa sana place normal yani ni kitu kama 30 30 30 to 35000 do you know 35000 hiyo ni 1.2 million kenya shillings per year na unaishi kwa studio kwa bed sitter 1.2 million shillings unaitwa kwa bed sitter ndio wende one bedroom size ni 40 to 45000 yani wewe unaelekea karibu milioni mbili ndio ishi kwa kwa one bedroom yeah? so this is what inafanya watu wanaishi kwa hizi mabed space then the government may realize kuwa hizi ma accommodations ziko huko kwa ma, ziko sona po ziko alku ziko wapi company as as hires accommodations ni mob zimebaki tu empty so wana try ku finyilia hizi kutoa hizi mabed space ndio company if it is stress kuwa inafa ku, ku, kuwa na accommodation so they wanaenda wana haiza accommodation wanaweka wafanyikazi wao huko na mabasi so hata kikulipa 1500 hauna stress ya kushika basi na metro subuhi hauna stress ya pale utalala wewe uko secure na pale utalala hii 500 ambayo na kuongezea ngaju haitoshi transport na itoshi pale utalala unaenda kupata ma bed space zingine zinakani kama uko, uko boarding hata boarding wanalanga vizuri kukushinda wewe juu boarding hata watu wakula nangi juu na chini hmm? huku unalala uko na duty kesho subuhi na mkasa 10 ya huko nakwambia nitetema kitana ni feko 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 ya mjamaa hata kuone huruma juu yako off kesho sasa ameta kidem kake hapo nakwambia ni kutoa na kutu kutoa na kutu wewe sasa hapo ndio na na ma headphones zako that's all na most of the people wenye ukiongea nao kwa best place wako na mabonge za ma headphones wana invest kwa headphones sana hasa uba hasa hata ukiinvest kwa headphones ya yule mtetemuko naye bado ni same tujikitane ki dance hata wewe pia uta dance tu na hiyo ready makipiga pia wewe una dance tu una dance nikaa pia wewe uko collab huko 
So this is the main reason. This is the reason is why government wanafunga funga hizi mabed spaces sana. Then wanajua kuwa ukiweka hizi bed spaces moja ikiwa na watu wengi hapo ndio hasa kuna pia rapsha mingi. Watu upigana, makrai, manini. Wanajua hapa ndio hasa matezi tauzwa, watu watakata maji hapo watapigana. Most of the time hata tumeona hizi kwa hizi ma videos kwa social media. Shaja hata wamedungana na kisu na kukatana mapanga mara ngapi after wamelewa. Ah rivalry pia inakuja juu wewe uko na best space mimi niko na best kwa the same building tunaanza tu kuchukiana tu Maafrika Maafrika unaanza tu kuguzozana kuzozana una organize watu wakuja waribu best space yako unaanza kuiba wao huyu so hizi vitu zote intelligence huko nje they are very very smart they know what's happening here on the ground so wakituanga hizi vitu wanajua nini wanajaribu ku reduce then sasa hizi venye wamealau ma eh, ma landlord sasa hizi kila mwaka landlord ako na right ya kuongeza 20% ya rent hivyo ndo walipitisha by the way 20% so as i imagine kila mwaka rent yako ina 20% 20% 20% na maanisha life ina kwa expensive hata huku nje but salary yako iko to the same place so for you to survive lazima uende place ambayo uko chipa ndio kwa sababu ndio usave at least utekea take pia bills zako home one to three things ujitake as well kwa sababu ukienda sasa hizi place ku profile unataka kutengeneza tiktok ukiwa kwa mansion unataka kutengeneza tiktok ndio watu wakuone venye unaishi dubai my dear utakuwa na flash una flash landlord at the end of the day hiyo nyumba utabeba rudi nayo kana hilo ishi kwa bed space hata kama ni kwa bed space ishi hata kama ni kwa bed sitter but save mimi kitu ambacho naweza ambia naweza advise wase bed spaces angalia bed spaces gani ambayo unaenda usiende kwa bed spaces ambayo imejawa na hiyo ah watu ni red flag anywhere wanaenda the moment tu kuna wanaje wawili watano kwa bed space moja bed space itakuwa targeted na CID kwa sababu ni red flag waje kwa wazuri aje ama nini kuna tu mmoja kati yao aga akuangi tu sawa unaona so ukitaka bed spaces poa tafuta bed spaces ambayo iko na watu wenu wa mtu kama wa Kenya ukiona pia hiyo bed space iko na watu wawili wa hawaeleweki mambo zao toka enda kwa wengine ukiangalia sana best space za wanaijio ndo zimepigwa sana 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 zetu pia zimepigwa za Afrika za Wakenya za Waganda za wa Pakistan na wapi hao wa Hindi but zao zimepigwa mostly kwa sababu huku nje ma CID uwezi jua CID by the way huku nje CID anakuja nao pati pati yake na earphones yake anakatu Pakistan anakatu Fala huo mjamaa atapiga naye story mwezi mmoja tu akiwasoma mpaka itafika pale ni best yako na mbebo na pelea kwa room hadi tuende kunywe tukunywe chai hapo ndio hasa utajua kuwa huyu kumbe si mtu wa kawaida mwanao na masiedi huko anakuanga patient wanaweza kuja hata achukue nyumba hapo kando yenu for one full year yeye ni beshe tu yana na wagotea mnampitanga hapa akivuta tu sigara mnaona tu ah haka kana kama pakistan haka akaizi kuna nio chochote nyinyi mnafanya tu shughuli zenu hapo zenye wataki so kama mnaweza unaweza chukua bed sitter Uh, huko anaita studio shikanisheni watu wawili ama maximum watatu kwa bed sitter moja kwa studio moja shida ni sasa inatokelezea hapo pande ya paycheck alafu kisha shida ni sasa inatokelezea pia kuna time utapata mtu ambao atatoka then mbaki wawili sawa itabidi mnalipa mkiwa hivyo wawili ama kama mnashikana kwa kwa studio mnaingia kwa studio mnapeana one check one check kama ni 30000 kila mtu atoe 10 10 10 mlipe ya mwaka mzima wewe umemalizana na maneno ya rent mwaka mzima hivyo mtakuwa much safer then msichanganyikane madem machali wengi kama ni mademu wawili chali moja kama ni machali chali moja mademu wawili kama ni mademu watatu it's okay it's better hivyo sawa yeah so yeah nimemaliza kuna mjamaa hapa na nipanguzia dinga amenifungulia mlango paka nikakuwa confused anyway so hivyo ndo nilikuwa najaribu kuambia that yeah huku nje saa hizi siku poa hivyo tafuta place ambayo uko uko, uko accommodated pale sambo uko una una feel uko secure place ambayo usifeel usiende juu ya hata umeitwa na beshte yako soma kwanza rada hiyo place ikwaje unaweza aenda ujikute kesho uko mta kuna dem madem wawili watatu wameshikwa huko nada last two weeks ago sasa hizo wako mta na walikuwa hao ah, watu acha ni kwapi hata ukiwa na visa sasa zingine au ah, atakai kujua the moment wamekuanda rada hiyo best place wamejua kuna illegal activity kwa hapo okay, wakiwa squeeze wanasema jela zimejaa wana wa deport sasa hizi ni ku deport ku deport you dubai pia imejaa uae imejaa so sasa hizi hakuna jela ambayo utapelekwa utapelekwa huko 2 weeks waambia watu wenu watamtafutie tiketi ya ndege kampani yako leta leta passport yake wana ku deport so whenever you are going to take your best place pia jua ni area gani usiende kuchukua best place place ambayo unauza matei place ambayo kuna kuna kuuza rose coco kwa stairs ama hapo nje utashikwa na utadipotiwa bure soma rada kwanza kuwa mjanja sisi ni watu wa janja huwa kuwa mjanja sawa Until then take care guys <laughs> Just when we think that now Africans we are doing well or that now we have started to behave considering the situation around in UAE boom 
these ladies are break, uh, break, giving us breaking news breaking news i think by now most of you have seen this video of these ladies who are fighting in a room then one of them picked a knife then they start arguing with the other one. i don't know he stabbed her or he sliced his wrist something happened then the lady collapses because he overbled they refused to call ambulance because they were afraid or they were afraid of their action they were afraid of they know that in uae when you call ambulance will come with police so they were afraid they let one of their own bled to death because of they were afraid to call ambulance because they'll be arrested now stupid them all of them now be arrested and they'll be charged with murder because if not murder you'll be charged with participating in murder activity because how can you fight your fellow this is why we always say africans we are always mean africans are the meanest people and we are mean against our brother and sister we're not mean against other nationality no we are always mean against us an african will mistreat you until you wonder like is re this really an african or maybe it's just a skin color you know just because of a tight these ladies are fighting because of a tight. that's the information i'm getting i'm um, correct me if i'm wrong but other lady had one another one tight then all of a sudden i don't know what happened they started arguing they started fighting the other one pulled a knife then while they were struggling here there boom most of you have watched this video if you have not watched uh if you have my number what's up me so i don't know <laughs> but uh, so i don't know where we get this all this courage that you know you forget what brought you here you are spoiling for everyone and still we are complaining why aren't africans being given houses we are complaining we are africa this is not a place for us this is racism this is what will you allow such kind of people to come and rate your house you are being called that you know what someone have been killed in your apartment you are the ones who gave who, who rented them yeah bring their details you rented one person a room all of a sudden there are 10 now this uh, this whatever which has happened now you as the landlord you are supposed to produce this the remaining all of them not even the remaining time because you there in the video you can see like maybe six of them so you are wondering like why are africa being mistreated and this is the perception these guys have carried it even to workplace they put a, they put a, a advertisement there is a job but down there exclusive africans because they know our habit they know that most of us whenever we reach here we forget what brought us here we forget that is problem or which brought us here then we start just doing some things which you don't even understand even for them they don't even understand what's really happening even us ourselves we don't understand what's happening to our brothers and sisters the moment they bought that plane and they land here their mind just started moving backwards mark timing mark timing because you forget your mission that you came from home to change home you know you left home to to change home that's your, our mission everyone who is here if you are a millionaire you will not be in gulf if you are a billionaire your dad is a billionaire you will not be here oh, unless unless otherwise you know but the moment you leave home to change home then you are here you are stressing people at home you are not even changing home now there's one guy who was arrested he's calling his uh, parents back at home his brother and sister to come up with the ticket money 2500 do you know what is 2500 back at home with this economy do you know what is it you have been here for more than four years you cannot raise 4500 because you are arrested you are in deportation center and nowadays in deportation center tell your people to uh, uh to raise a, a air ticket for you or else you'll stay there even six months so this guy is there struggling crying my dear when you are here we have always been insisting know your purpose know your cause know what brought you here if you feel you are tired don't spoil for other people these people whenever they are looking at african they, there is no label written here that this is kenyan this is nigerian this is cameroonian Ghanaian, ugandan uh, uh, tanzania most of them they label us in general these are africans whenever something happened an african uh, are fighting there whenever something happened an african robbed that shop whenever something happened those ladies standing there are african they are selling themselves this is how they label us you know so the moment you feel like you are tired of this country you have make enough money or you don't want you are so depressed you don't want to make uh, any more money go you want to go just go in peace leave the people who are, who are still one who want to still to make the ends meet to be here in peace instead of being frustrated because of your stupid actions most of the people outside here are being frustrated with their bosses with their with their companies and everything because of the actions they don't even know about these things while they are happening they were not here you know they had not even moved to, to to uae you know so now you are suffering for the action of your ancestors who came here 
make things upside down chakala bagla now we have been labeled we have been termed every every crime which is happening in in uh, uae every 10 crimes which is happening in uae nine of them must be africans that's how they have termed nine of them must be us so you are paying for crimes you did not commit while the person who committed the crime okay he has been deported is back at home but you you are the one who is suffering you are the one who's depressed we are oppressed here you know you go to look for a job, you come here with a visit visa, which nowadays I'll not advise anybody to come to UAE to look for a job with a visit visa. You'll be oppressed. Con men are so many and your fellow Africans is the one who will dupe you to be conned. Yeah. He will not even hold your hand that tell you that no, that agency they are conning people. They are telling you to pay 200 for, for interview and what, but trust me, there is no interview. Someone will tell you to pay them 1000 that they'll give you a job. They'll push you to an interview. By the time you are going to this interview, you come and realize that this interview had been more than more than 20 people so how how can how can how can he someone is calling me how how, how can he push you to, for you yourself you just you yourself to to make it through this interview how this is pure con and we just we just blame ourselves because most of this action whenever you see them is africans who are doing it against their fellow africa we don't love each other we hate each other for no apparent reason you hate someone who has you have never met this this person you have just met him here in dubai you don't know his background completely you just started hating him you just started putting insult on his work on his you know feeding recruiting people to hate him as well feeding other people negative energy ab about your colleague about your friends which is not true everyone is just here looking for something to put on top of the table some people are here to just try to feed their family try to support their family try to change the name of their family back at home but others are really here struggling very hard to spoil for everyone to spoil guys whenever you see this kind of people call police it's always you can call them anon anonymously you cannot be seeing people are fighting for no apparent reason they are shaming us we we as africans they are shaming us because people are labeling them africa they're not labeling them with any nationality then we are here seated uh, taking video and posting here yeah, people uh, uh, call police let them be accountable so that the next time another person is thinking of doing the same he should know the repercussion that there is arrest there is arrest and there is deportation we want to clear our name as much as we want to clear our name these people there's already a mindset a perception which have been created in their mind that africans are always are always so as anything to do with anything physical that's why you see in most of these events you go and see the crowd control bouncers majority of them 90 percent are africans only they take two three other nationality who are a little bit built but majority of them even if you're not built you are just an african they'll take you because they know that our anger and our energy we can push 100 people and this is where now we use our our energy wrong instead of putting it to work now we put it into fighting after 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 drinking we put it to doing some other guys before we complain that this place is not for us this there is racism in it. we should sit down and ask ourselves that what are we not doing correct why other nationalities are not complaining so much why just few nationalities are complaining that especially africa that this place is not our home this is place this and this and we should start reflecting on ourselves on our actions on how we behave in public you find an african in public just shouting just he has been delayed for one minute he starts making a lot of dramas you know so it's upon us reflect reflect yourself check are you really doing this the 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 thing which this country laws and regulation wants us to do or we are always going the opposite because us we always we africans we always want to prove a point whenever we are anywhere we want to be noticed we want to vibrate the place you know whenever you go to any party you want to be noticed whenever you go to a park you want to be noticed with noise with loud music which these people they don't like but us we're always doing the opposite then whenever they come and shut you down and tell you guys to leave oh africans you know whenever you are anywhere already you have been marked that we are not uh, we are not good people we are not we have brought that upon ourselves we should admit that one all this what's happening is upon we have, this is self-inflicted wounds it's upon ourselves first of all it's us to sit down call a meeting with yourself ask yourself how many times have you, have you fight over here for what reason could you just talk to the person who, who had offended you to dialogue instead of physical fighting instead of abuse instead of stealing other people's stuff mistreating our fellow africans at work like come on guys it's high time guys high time sit down and think about ourselves like what's really happened